Hey everyone and welcome back to part 2 of how to decorate this cartoon cake. In part 1 I showed you how to add the pink icing, do the black lines and do the balloon and confetti decorations. In this video I'm going to show you how to make the candle, the cherries and the cream. So I made the candle out of modelling paste. You can buy ready-made modelling paste but in this case I just added a little CMC powder to my sugar paste to create a modelling paste. This is great to have in the cupboard when you only want to make small amounts of modelling paste and it's a lot more economical than buying a lot when you only need a little. So here I'm just working it through and then you feel it firming up and then ready to use as modelling paste. So I've made the pink so it matches the pink of the icing and here I'm also making the white modelling paste. Once the modelling paste is ready I'm just going to roll it into a tube of about I'd say just under one centimetre in width. So now I'm going to do exactly the same with the pink modelling paste. So now both tubes are the same size and I'm just running a little bit of clear alcohol along the white one so I can gently stick them together. Just going to use a knife to trim the end and then I'm just going to gently twist the two tubes together to create my candle effect. Okay, that's about the height that I want it to be, so I'm just trimming the end off and then further shaping with my fingers. So now I'm rolling some really thin tubes of black modelling paste as we have to highlight all the edges on the candle. So now I'm just going to run a little bit of clear alcohol around one edge of the twist. You just twist it as it goes around. And then you can just follow that line again with your black modeling paste. I'm just going to trim the end there. And then I'm just going to repeat that process again with the other line. Now I'm just going to add some black icing around the sides of the candle. Just going to add some clear alcohol all the way around to help it stick. Now I'm just going to place it on, hold it round and then secure with my fingers. If you wanted to, you could just use a tool just to push in to the, where the black is on the actual candle just to create a little bit more definition and candle shape. So now I'm just going to add a ring of black modelling paste around the bottom and top of the candle. So now I'm gently inserting a toothpick into the bottom of the candle. This will help add support to the candle, but also give you something to insert into the cake later. Now you can put your candle aside to set. So now I'm making the flame by mixing a bit of yellow and orange modelling paste together. Careful not to mix it all, so you get a few little streaks in there. And then I'm just going to form it into a tear-shaped shape. So it looks like a flame. Little flick to one side. Okay. 
Okay, I'm just checking that the flame is okay for the size. And now, just like everything else, we have to add a black outline to the flame. And then once you've inserted your candle into the cake, you can stick the flame on top. Firstly, I'm just making a little tiny teardrop shaped piece of black modelling paste, curving it round to be the stalk for the cherry. Just making it now to give it time to set for later. So the cream is made out of just white sugar paste. I formed a ball into a circle, flattened it and then created a little dip with a ball tool. I then did exactly the same with a smaller piece, stuck it on top and then dipped it again with the ball tool to create a little indent. So as with everything else, we now have to create a black outline on all the edges of the cream. So I'm just putting a bit around the middle here. And now I'm going to put a bit around the top. It doesn't matter what the seam looks like at the back because your cherry will be hiding that. And now I'm going to put a bit along all the sides. You can go across the top as long as you press around the indent so it doesn't stretch the paste. Again, you're not going to see that once the cherry's in there anyway. So the last bit of black around the bottom I didn't put on until I put the cream on top of the cake. So now I'm making the cherry with some red modelling paste. Just going to form it into a ball shape. Check the size for my cream. And I'm just going to use my finger just to create a little indent. Looks like a little heart shape you can see there. Just to create that little cherry shape. Then I'm just going to use a tool just to press an indent where the stalk will go. And then again I'm just rolling a little bit of black modelling paste to make an outline around the outside of the cherry. I'm just going to stick it on top of the cream and then I'm just going to add a little pre-made stalk that we made earlier. So now I'm just going to add a little highlight to the cherry by forming a small piece of white modelling paste into a teardrop shape, flattening it and then sticking it onto the top right of the cherry. You can just use your brush to further shape it. And now again, I'm just going to add a tiny piece of black modelling paste all around the outside of the highlight. As the highlight is slightly raised, it will act as a guide. I then stuck the cherries and cream on top of the cake and then made a black outline around the bottom of the cream. I really hope that you found this tutorial useful. Please don't forget to check out part one and I'll leave the link in the description for that. I will be very grateful if you can like and subscribe for more. It really helps my little channel. Oh and don't forget to hit that notification bell. Thanks for watching.